both of you are joined with Bill Katanak from the Oil and Gas Authority. So tell us what brings you to the NOF supply chain event today. Well, I guess um, I'm, I'm focused really predominantly on oil and gas, and this is a this is a wider event. Um, but it's always very interesting to hear what's, what supply chain skills we've got and how we can actually bring in other competencies, maybe from the nuclear side or from the, from the offshore wind, then to help us with, with oil and gas. Um, we've gone through two or three years of downturn in, uh, in there, and we've, all, we've lost a lot of people and a lot of, a lot of skills. And as, things, as we go into 2019, it looks a little bit better, and uh, I, I think there's going to be um, maybe a shortfall of people. So it's good to be here mi mixing with, with all the, the capabilities from different sectors. And like you said there, and we heard in a few of the presentations this morning, there's more of a positive outlook for the industry, um, certainly looking ahead for 2019. What do you think will be different this year? What will we be seeing happening? Well, I guess the, the word costs to me is going to be the most significant. And uh, we've gone through a period, well, if we turn the clocks right back to 2011 and 2012, $127 oil didn't really do us any good. All it did was fueled rapid cost inflation, which became actually the part of the problem for the it fueled the downturn. So what, as we come out of the, the downturn, what we have to do is maintain um, control in our costs. So I would say that cost control of our costs is going to be the biggest um, challenge for this year. And diversification is a key theme of the event today. What sort of impact does that have for you? I, I, I guess um, diversification has probably saved part of our supply chain because we've gone through two or three years in the oil and gas sector where there was uh, uh, very few projects coming forward and a lot of our supply chain companies would probably have gone out of business if they hadn't diversified. My hope actually is that the companies that diversified into other other sectors will be see it attractive to come back to oil and gas as the projects start to reappear. Great, thanks for joining us today, Bill, and enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you.